speak on transportation in general. It should be a separate fund. It shouldn't be thrown into the general fund. Now, fees for a harbor should go to fixing up the harbor. Railroad land, they should pay a fee for those right of ways to go across public land to run the railroad. Um, on the local level, the county says that for every dollar you put into public transportation, you save four dollars. So uh, we need more balanced approach for all types of transportation and see how they compare with each other and where the savings is. Um, I'd like to address one more issue. Land grant school funding. After the revolution, the English ceded this area. Michigan, Ohio, Indiana, Wisconsin, Illinois. And the Northwest Ordinance set aside land for the governor's list for roads and harbors and things and for land grant school funding forever, where revenue from the minerals, timber, and fisheries go to, directly to the schools. Wisconsin even did one better with the Wisconsin idea to combine the capital and the university together to give the best information available for politicians. Land grant school funding is why Wisconsin and these other four states were the first part of the world that had full public education. Mm -hmm. Then the Morale Act and the Civil War and the whole country had land grant school funding. That's why we rose up as a nation. That's why we became the most productive country. It should be fully one twelfth of total state revenues going to schools. It's nowhere near that. It's less than like 2% or something. Schools is where it starts. Not the more highways or six laners instead of four laners and this kind of stuff. But a balanced approach, schools first. Then you have a, a solid base to build from. Thank you.